We're talking uh, workouts with Dorinda and Willie Geist. Absolutely. Willie's podcast, Sunday Sit Down with Willie Geist, is available where fine podcasts are available. Uh, Gita is from the Cubby Hole. Great to see you, Gita. Thank you, guys. Um, so, Willie, uh, what is on your podcast? It's the full unedited interviews uh, from Sunday today. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so like last week we had Blake Shelton. I know His you bar did. in Nashville. Wow. On the show, we get like seven or eight minutes of the interview, which is a lot, as you know, from TV. Yes. But on the podcast, you get like 45 that's minutes. That's a great it's idea. Just start to finish, put it all up that there. That is a great so idea. So much ends up on the floor. You yeah. know how this works. I think you should so come to Bluestone up. Manor. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> Dorinda's unbelievable house. Let's Your wife do, can that's come up. unbelievable right. house. I got to tell you something. I the the house. Look, I know we have not actually seen the half of that house, have we? No. Because we shoot in the winter, so it's always interior, That's and you have so these great unbelievable if one grounds. Time we could do a fall there. Right. I would and love a Halloween it too. party. Yeah, oh. I'm into it. Sounds like an. Let's episode. go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name, and from where are you calling? Hey, caller. Hi, this is Ed from. Hey, this is Ed from New York City. Hey, Ed, where in New York are you? Upper East Side, actually. So my oh, question where is I for live. Dorinda. Excellent. Oh, right by yeah. Dorinda. What's your question, Ed? Uh, my question is, how is your daughter Hannah's relationship with John now? Has it improved at all? Yes, I think it has. Well, I know, I know it has. But she's, you know, everybody's sort of, she's moved out. She has a nice, wonderful new boyfriend who I'm meeting. And oh, you've not met him yet? Not yet. Oh, Hannah's name. very, you know, Hannah does things in her own fashion. Yeah. Which is nice. She, she doesn't rush Like you. Things. Yes. Like me. She's strong-willed. And, uh, and um, yeah, she's very good with him now. She live no in the city? She, she does. Okay. Nate K texted, Willie, would you ever make the switch to late night TV? Or are you strictly staying with uh, morning and news? I mean, you... I would. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You're very versatile. I mean, the 4 a.m. wake up thing, I think yes. like 20 oh, years in, yes. maybe I'll hit a wall and be like, Can you I could imagine? do something else. No. We've been doing Morning Joe for 11, 11 years now. Can you even go so. on a date with your wife? Oh, yeah. We go on dates all the time, as long as the dinner reservation is at like 5.15. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which means you can eat anywhere in the city. And so, does yeah. your wife go to bed, too? Uh, she actually does. She goes, she to, goes bed to bed, bed with you? Well, no we put the kids go to bed at like 8.39. Right. You go to bed at like 10 o'clock. Yeah. Re Wait, yeah. so you go to bed at 10, and what time do you wake up? Four. Four. So you get four six days. hours. Yeah, that's okay, right? Yeah, it's yeah. fine. That's yeah. basically yeah. kind of what I do. Six, yeah, six exactly. and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So tomorrow morning, you're hosting today. Yes. You're filling Savannah. in for Hodes. Yep. And you will get there at what time? I will get there tomorrow at about 5, 5.30, something like that. Um, and we got a big day tomorrow because we've got this Supreme Court vacancy now. Yes. There's a lot going on, so it'll be a busy, busy morning. And so what time does your day end? Uh, depends on the day. A lot of times, like yesterday, I went to Dallas and did an interview and flew back, like a oh, there wow. and back. So I do that quite a bit. But like a normal day. Normal day, I can be There's home no at 2, 3 in the afternoon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So then you get to see your kids. kids. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's you know, Dorinda takes a nap. Fully under the covers. In my pajamas. In her pajamas at 4 p.m. every oh, day. Every you day. do? How yeah, long? I have a routine. I, 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 uh, Wait, tape, what do you watch? Do you I, I tape Dr. Phil, who I love. He's John, great. I love you, but I have a huge crush on okay. Dr. Phil. Okay. And then at 4 o'clock, when I know it's all taped, I get in my bed and I put on my pajamas and I put it on and I fall asleep. You do? 45 minutes later. I love it. Nap, that's genius. And then do you wake up energized? Oh, yeah. Do you know how many times... I have thought of you at four o'clock. No joke. Wonderful. Like, do you know that? Wonderful. Like, that was something that she said on her first season on The Housewives, and like, it just stuck for so many people. Like, I'm like, she gets in the bed right. at four o'clock. Right. right. Yeah. In pajamas. In pajamas. Yes. You like brush your teeth and Afterwards. like I'm going to bed. Afterwards. Yes. Afterwards. Yeah. Wow. That's yes. incredible. I have done I that in you. tribute to you, and I, <laughs> in tribute to you, will take my contacts out because sometimes if you're, you know, whatever, no. if you're lazy, you'll be like. No, I'm just going to sleep with the cop. Like, yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? My name is Michelle, and I'm calling from Dallas. Next hey. time you come to Dallas, Willie, like, happy to, like, hook you up. <laughs> I wish I'd known, Michelle. Um, my bad. I know. So, hey, we love watching you. And my question is, what, out of all the amazing profiles you've done, what is the one thing that was the most moving? And is there one that you actually regret doing? Of all the interviews I've done, is that what you said, Michelle? Yeah. Um, none that I regret doing. Um, 
I think the most moving interviews are with people you've never heard of, like going to a like a family homeless shelter in Bushwick and talking to a family there and helping them put it back together. So to me, those are the most moving. We did that a couple years ago, but the day to day, I don't know if they're moving. Sometimes they're infuriating. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, if you're interviewing Especially a politician, now. trying to get right. an answer out of them, but yeah. it's also energizing and it's a great time to be doing what we're doing. I mean, you wake up every morning and there's an entirely new story, an entirely new challenge, and then an hour into your show, there's another one, and then yeah. an hour and there's another one. So it's relentless, but it's fun. Back to the right. phones, caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, caller. Hey, caller, are you there? Daddy's hitting a wall, caller. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there you are. What's your question? Hey, what's up? Okay. Andy, I just have to tell you that I watch you um, on my VPN from Shanghai, China. Wow. I'm an American who lives in China, and I subscribe to everything Bravo on my secret VPN. And I love you, love you, love you. I, you. You're my secret best friend, just so you know. Thank and you. Um, by the way, by the way, pick either Beverly Hills or Coda to Casa people where I used to live or New York women to come to Shanghai for wow, the next be trip. I, I give great Shanghai. That'd okay. be great. I don't even mind that you're okay. watching us illegally. Huh? <laughs> um, I anyway, know. What's your question? I know. That's how we do, Andy. My I know. question is for Dorinda. Okay. I just want to know if, if Nancy's filming is over, have Dorinda and Bethany mended their friendship? Uh, we haven't really spoken. I mean, I'm blocked from everything. <laughs> yeah, really. No. But, but did you end with your friendship so bad? I mean... No, I, you know, listen, this is... It seems like you had a lot of miscommunications, but it's not yeah, like... Yeah, there's uh, nothing bad that's happened. Right. I just think, you know... You watch the whole season, and sometimes it is what it is. Listen, at some point in your life, you just say, you you know, maybe you don't like me, I don't like you, maybe it's just not going to work. And, right. and sometimes, you know, you need a rest. I have no problem with Bethany. You know, I just think it's uh, it's hard sometimes. You know, yeah. she's a tough cookie to crack. There are flashes where you look like friends, and then five yeah, minutes Yeah, as I always say, when Bethany's enemies. great, she's fantastic. Right. But you just don't know it. I always, you know, it's kind of like that thing. You just don't know when she's going to be gonna happy get. with you or if she's going to be yeah. mad at you. I was very surprised by a lot of the comments this year. The comments in the interview. Yeah. Yes. And when you because I wasn't around, feeling that when way. When you weren't around. Yeah, when I wasn't around. Yeah. So when I would see her face to face, I would, and she kind of did that to Carol. You know, one minute they'd be all fine and it looked like the scene was great, and they'd made up and they'd hug and kiss, and then there'd be a clip it where they, everybody's right. back. So it confuses you a bit. Okay, last call of the night. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, it's Bethany from Johnston. Oh, oh God, Bethany. I got scared for a second. Oh. <laughs> I was going to run. I've done that one earlier. I was waiting for you. <laughs> um, what's your question, Bethany? Hi, Andy. Once again, I tell you, I've already been on a couple times. I was on when they, um, with Craig and Catherine, I asked the question about the dress. Oh. Uh. Amazing. Yes. Anyway, I love you, Andy. I love you that back. That being said, Brenda, I gotta tell you, my girlfriend and I, her name is Heather. We love you. We think Aww, you are the you. best on New York, period. Oh, that's so sweet. And you make the show fun. Just Calling so to you the know. polls. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you make the show fun. Oh, that thanks. being said, on another note, so Willie Geist. Oh, I gotta yes. ask you. That seems like over. a transition. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're going all three. Uh, Willie, I got to be honest with you. Um, Joe Scarborough's hair, first off, his hair, fantastic. It is oh, great. Just so you know, hair. we love his hair. Mm -hmm. Great hair. That being said, um, so what are you thinking about the whole issue with uh, Kennedy stepping down from the Supreme Court? Kind of huge. God, I, I thought I she mean, would say something negative. Yeah, I, really I, know, yeah, I, I thought she was going to slam Joe <laughs> Scarborough. After how much um, she packed into that I question. Know, yeah. that's a lot. I just got to say, all, all I, I hate to say it, it just might happen. I hope I you get over it. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> I mean, we came from the question to you six years ago to today. I know, it's amazing. I know. So, Court Kennedy, fantasy. so the Democrats are obviously going to try to delay this to November, yeah. but they're not going to be able to, right? No, now. they don't have the votes. No. They have, so they're going to put up so, a huge protest. And, of course, it doesn't matter that Mitch McConnell delayed the Merrick Garland vote for matter. nine months. He says it's different because that was during a presidential election, so we should wait to, wait to see who wins as he gets to pick that person. And he's saying this time it's a congressional election, so it's different. But the point is, there's so going to be a So he's just big, making up bullshit rules. Well, there's going know? to be a big, ugly, divisive fight. And Democrats are going to dig their heels oh, in to God. show to their base that they stood up for themselves and the other ways. But they have the Republicans have the votes. 
So if yeah. they want it, they're going to get it their guy. It always seems hopeless now. I know. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but it always seems hopeless now. Don't get hopeless. Yeah, I Don't know. Don't get hopeless. We Say promised something? at the Women's March that we wouldn't get hopeless, but you can't help yourself. You get a little hopeless every once in a while. Yeah. Well, it is, I mean, you have days where you get exhausted. Yeah. You know, I don't get Today hopeless and you get tired. Days, yeah, yeah, maybe that's a bad word. But, but you, you wake up and if yeah. you believe in that side of things, you fight for it. Yeah. Dorinda and I are upset. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank Willie Guys, who's hosting the Today Show. And I got him a half crush. He's got filling up his drinks. Thank you, Dorinda. You look great. I'll see you at the reunion in two weeks. Thank you, Gita. I'll see you at the company hall. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.